Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a highly anticipated update on Injective. Um, haven't covered it in quite some time, so here we are back again. Uh, we're going to do a full analysis on the market structure. We'll do some Elliott Wave theory and I'll tell you what to expect because right now we are actually at a crucial point in price. Um, it's uh, if, if you if, if you analyze it in a certain way, you would expect levels of ten point five dollars still after us hitting. Uh, almost ten dollars uh, Friday when we were very very bullish with injective once again, but um, but yeah that's what we'll talk about right so we'll just do a full full analysis I'll give you my thoughts on it and uh, and and just everything that you that you might expect so in the end hopefully you are as well prepared as possible uh, but before we dive into injective apart from that I'm also a full time profitable trader if you want to receive daily trading signals and become a better trader yourself as well. Check out the links down in the description or as you can see um, uh, in, in the pinned comments. But now onto Injective. So the thing is, is that like I, I actually deleted it. But in terms of market structure, Injective is actually pretty beautiful. Uh, because what you had is that you had a pretty clear, I would say, first impulse waves right here. So we started here, had a, had a bit of a third wave pullback and then a big fifth wave. Or you could arguably do, do something like this. And then you had a uh, a bigger third wave. Altogether, nice impulse waves right here, all the way up until nine dollars, which is also a very strong uh, resistance level where I actually also shorted from briefly. Like I did a quick short down to uh, eight point twenty five. And then what we had is a bit of a a bit of a correction here. So we did something like this: ABC uh, consolidation right here in the in in the weekend. And then right now, I would argue that we have started some some new impulse waves, right? So perhaps this first second two waves, like perhaps the pullback was a bit too much, but I do think it still is okay. So right now we have to get confirmation that we can get that fifth wave because we we uh, managed to get to that level around ten dollars historically. It is more likely that after hitting that level, you will actually fall in price, as you can see right here. All right. So and you can also see, I mean, it's, it's, it's a major resistance level. So the big question is, is will we actually be able to still get that fifth wave or not? Because even though this uh, it, it's, it's a bit of a shaky uh, Elliott wave structure. So I would say we would need to get some some real confirmation. So I'm going to delete this real quick. So we actually have a little bit more of an, of an overview. Uh, because what we're doing right now is you can see that that level that was resistance at the beginning of July around nine dollars, basically ranging from uh, eight point eight up until nine dollars. That's now our support. Uh, but in the meanwhile, after hitting that resistance, we actually have gotten some bearish confirmation, like we um, like we dropped down below the three eight two fib, which is usually a very strong support level. And apart from that, also the the top of this area right here around nine point one is also has also turned into resistance. So what I would say we need to do to actually still get that fifth wave up to, I would say 10.5, that's my first price target, is I would need to see bullish confirmation. So I, I, I need to see us break above 9.2 again, find support there. We don't necessarily need to break above 9.5, which is also resistance, just break it above 9.2. I think that's enough bullish confirmation to really confirm that we can get up to 10.5. Uh, All right, so this is what we need to see. Now, if we do not see this within the next two days or so, um, it's probably not going to happen because you do need momentum. And if this hap if, if this doesn't happen in the next two days, um, I would argue that if we break down below 8.8, .8, which is now our last support level, it's confirmed that we are not going to get that fifth wave. All right. So then all of a sudden we'll be dropping down to 8.5. We had some major bearish confirmation with all the bearish breakouts here. Then it's more likely that we'll just have a big pullback down to 7.8. Uh, so we're absolutely, that's why I said we're at a crucial point of time because we need to get that bullish breakout and we need to get it quick. If we can do that, great. If not, uh, we're probably in for some uh, in, in for some bearish momentum. So yeah, we'll have to see. I'll keep you updated on that. I would say it's a bit more likely still to get that fifth wave. So perhaps that's bullish, but it's very close. And to be honest, I would just wait for confirmation. Apart from that, Injective, amazing project for the long term. But uh, these videos are more of a, of, of a short term analysis, of course. So that's my take on it for now. If you do have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comments. But for now, enjoy your Monday. Take care and bye.